Hi everybody, it's me, Rockham Sakura. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh. So many of you guys watched my last video, me reacting to first impressions. Uh, there's a link over here somewhere if you do want to watch that video. So many of you guys reacted and told me that you loved the makeup that was in that video and you wanted like an actual full tutorial and I am here to deliver. Before we get into the makeup tutorial today, please make sure to like this video, comment down below, and of course, follow, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have so many cool makeup moments here. We have lots of reacting moments. Also, we just hit 60,000 on this channel. Thank you guys so, so, so much for getting us to this milestone. I'm so happy to be here. I wouldn't share my art with any other people in the world besides you wonderful and gorgeous people. I'm just happy that I'm putting stuff out there and you guys are watching and receiving it well. I love you. And with that, let's get started. I put my hair back, I glued down my brows, I added primer, and we're ready to go. I'm gonna take this white ultra foundation from Krylon, and I like to use this foundation because it's nice and malleable. The first step I have to do is cut out my heart shape. I think that the center of my brows right here is gonna be my midpoint, it's gonna be my dip. Right here is gonna be my high points. I'm just gonna mark them. And then usually right above my lip is where I end, right here. If you are the type of person to not do like even shapes, dotting is gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna start right here in the center and just like I'm doing a lip or a cut crease, I'm just gonna drag up here. So I'm not going super close to my eyelids right now because I don't want to um, overlap where I'm gonna be putting my black liner later. It's gonna make everything relatively opaque. Also, I'm not doing the white under my eyes right now. I'm gonna gauge what kind of shape I want for my eyes once I'm finished with this heart. Um, wherever those are, just that's where you're gonna end. See that? I need water. Once I'm done lining, I'm just gonna fill everything in. I hate putting product in my nostrils. <laughs> it's so, it's such an icky feeling. And then what we can do is take a makeup sponge and blend that in. Just for a, I mean, you don't really have to do this, but it's the, it's the small details that really just refine your work later. So we have our cream, it's still wet. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce another color of cream. We're gonna be using it as a base. And actually this time I'm not gonna use cream at all as a base. I'm gonna be using lipstick as a base for the rest of the colors. I'm thinking of kind of like a red, orange, gold, sort of sunset sort of look. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start with my red on top. My face is gonna look like a pepperoni tomorrow. I'm gonna look like a honey baked ham. And now we're just gonna blend this in, blend it down. So I'm gonna do orange and I'm gonna do yellow. Those colors are gonna be relatively diffused. I don't have to put a base for them. So I have my base colors down. I can do two things. I can put my colors down if I want a deeper application or I can put a translucent powder and then put the colors on top. Today, we're gonna be doing the latter. So I'm gonna take this translucent powder and this fluffy brush. I'm gonna dab off the excess and then I'm just gonna place it, close my eyes, place it. I just mm, got that brush in my mouth. I hate <laughs> Ugh. My next step is gonna be adding all of the colors um, to this heart, like the gradients. If you're doing a painting, you're gonna wanna do a, like a, a wash first a nice big fluffy brush. I'm gonna take some of this red and I'm going to pack it here at the top. This one's gonna be a little bit more of a beginner skill level. Oh my God, I can feel that Cody powder in my, in my mouth. So I'm, I put my base red down. I'm gonna take some of this yellow and I'm just gonna add it where it feels right. Oh my God, I never do these colors. Um, some of you guys are still waiting for green. You're gonna be waiting a long time. It's also really important for this look to towards the center of your face, keep a light color because we're still, we're adding these colors and still keeping in mind highlighting and contour. So I'm gonna place all these like light colors towards the center and then later I'm gonna contour with the dark colors. Water. 
All right, um, next I'm gonna take, oh my God, I have never used this shade. It's like pastel orange. I have I have never dipped into it. I think that was the first time I ever went into that shade. Right now, I kind of look like a Photoshop preset gradient with like the red to yellow. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more visually interesting. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink tones with this pink right here. Just with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna add them different places. Okay, our next step is gonna be adding a contour color. And I'm gonna be showing you where I contour and how my contour works into this whole shape. If you don't contour right now and you just add a design over it, you're gonna look like just a hole. <laughs> you bottoms up there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this like deep, deep red color. It's like a kind of a burgundy. And this is deeper than all the shades on my face. I'm gonna go in and define my crease. It's right there. And if you have trouble finding out where to do your crease on Sakura makeup, this is my eyebrow right here. I'm going right over the eyebrow, starting from under, then it goes over in a little curve, and now it's gonna go on top. And what I do is I drag my face to the side to kind of get that line. I'm also gonna add my little squiggle contour right here. We're gonna cut it out later. And now I'm gonna do my nose contour. So I'm gonna start from that and I'm gonna bring it down. And the, most of the product is concentrated right here at the top and I'm going to just drag it down. I have this kind of crease shape. It looks a little heavy and hunky dunky. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm going to diffuse the edges. That's right, I have clean brushes now. I have been shamed by Cash and various other people into maintaining a healthy face. Probably gonna go back in later and deepen them just a little bit, but for now we're gonna diffuse them out because I don't want them so hard. Blush brush, take my blush and just pack it where I want it to go, which is right here towards the apple of my cheeks. This is gonna get covered in a bit, but we're blocking it on our face. So we have our base for everything. Now is going to be the time where we cut everything. Just like we did before, I'm gonna take my lip brush and this white foundation, dip it in, and I'm gonna start cutting out my shapes. So I'm gonna do my crease shape and then some clouds. So see I have this big white crease. I'm gonna not put too much foundation right here because like I said, it's gonna be black later. Get that nice squiggly shape. And I'm gonna bring that out. I'm gonna bring that out here, just like that. And I'm gonna continue the shape and kind of make almost like a triangle from the corner of my eye out to here. Now we're just gonna set this crease with white. I'm using Taco from Sugar Pill. If you guys do not follow this channel, I use Taco from Sugar Pill in pretty much every application of white powder. Perfect. This is done, it's all set with white. It's not really going anywhere. See, it's not transferring at all. Well, powder is, but not the grease. I'm gonna do the other side really quick. Our next step is gonna be carving out all the clouds that are gonna go on our face. I'm gonna use that same lip brush from before, and I'm gonna just do um, kind of like a cut crease motion over the whole face. Where I wanna put the clouds is where I'm gonna put them. So wherever it feels nice. So if you want to, just put them in the same place I do. And I'm gonna do this round shape that is already part of the lip brush. I'm gonna create the next tuft of cloud and I'm gonna do another one. Just make cloud shapes. Cloud shapes on your face. Or the whole time you're doing this makeup, it's just in cursive. You know what this looks like? Is the clouds from Toy Story. Strange things are happening to me. No doubt about it. So now that I have the shapes out, just like the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and set that with white and I'll be right back. Next up is gonna be deepening these colors. See right here, I added these clouds and I kind of lost where my crease was. I'm gonna go in with my red or whatever color is gonna go like diffuse into this and I'm going to retrace that crease to make sure that it's differentiated from this cloud. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some colors that are really just gonna pop the clouds and add a little bit more um, dimension and interest into the whole look. You have clouds right here. They're not reflecting what's behind them or above them. They're reflecting where the light's coming from below. So it's gonna be reflecting this color from the sun. See how this cloud right here is 
just with the yellow is already more visually interesting than like this cloud that's right here. So pretty, wow, you are an artist now. And for some of them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of pink, just like a tuft form, just like. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red right now. I'm just going to take some, put some at the bottom and I'm gonna diffuse it up just like I do with my normal crease. This time I'm using red, that's the only difference. I'm focusing most of my product here in this corner, and then I'm going to blend it upwards. Okay, so that's nice and blended in. Um, my next step is gonna be adding white liner just to the outer edges of all the clouds or whichever ones I feel need more of a definition, and to my crease. So, just like this, we're gonna add this nice stark white that has not been touched by any of the shadows. I'm gonna take some of this Epic Wear white liner. I'm gonna dot my nose. And that, that one dotted contrast will change the whole shape of everything right here. It's crazy. And then I'm going to just add a nice line from here. Our next step is gonna be lining our wavy liner. Uh, you guys have seen me do it a couple times before. In my last video, um, my Sakura 2.0 makeup, I taught you how to do the wavy liner, so I'm just gonna skip past that one. If you wanna see it, there's a link here somewhere. You can watch it really quick and then come back to this video. Okay, so the next step is gonna be adding our white under eye, just like I did before. White foundation, set it with the white powder. So I traced the liner of this eye right here. This is gonna clean up the liner a little bit down here. And next, I'm gonna drag that in a straight line. So I'm going to kind of connect these two lines. And I can be messy with it going downwards, so. I'm gonna make this face while I put in my white powder. I always go like this. Because it stretches my face out. And just like I said before, if you get it a little bit lower, you can take this deep shade that you use for your contour, blend it into this black right here, and then take it from the top, and just blend out whatever residual is left towards that inside. Perfect, I'm gonna do that to the other side and I'll be right back. Look at that, we're done with the white and we're on to our next step. So we have basically the whole sort of look that we have right here going for the hearts. The next step is gonna be to trace everything in our base foundation color and add our basic highlight and contour. Start off with our base 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 color. I'm going to trace the outside of this heart and if it takes away from the shape of the heart it's fine because we're going to be framing the heart at the very end once the makeup is all set with our setting spray with um, some studs and maybe some flat back pearls if we're feeling frisky. For this upper part right here my hairline is actually really close and my forehead already looks small. I don't need to add any cream contour right now. I'm just gonna add powder contour to the top right here. I'm gonna still do my cutout and I'm going to still powder it down and make it nice and clean. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm just gonna take some of that residual. I changed my mind. I'm gonna take some of that residual from my cheeks. I'm just gonna add it to my hairline. The last thing I need to do is add my highlights, which there aren't too many, honestly. Right up here underneath, and right here in the center, right in the forehead. And then we're gonna set it with powders and carve it out, and I will join you in a second with lips. I deepen my contour with a little bit of powder. The star of the show really is like the cameo in the face, but I do want to like add direction and sculpt the rest of my face. Otherwise I'll look like an egg with a stamp on it. I'm gonna show you how to do my lip tutorial. I did show, uh, I do have a tutorial on TikTok how to do my lips, but for you guys on YouTube, I'm gonna show you guys how I do these lips. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna take a nice lip liner, whatever shade that I want, and my lip, regular lips end here. I'm gonna go right above, like maybe half an inch above it. I'm gonna make a nice seagull. And then on the outside, we're gonna do triangle shapes. I'm following this line when I open my mouth, that my bottom lip mix, so. We're gonna connect the ends right here, and then we're gonna go on the bottom lip. 
depending on how big your bottom lip is, you can either go right below, you can go on top, you can go way further. I like to go just below my bottom lip because of how big my lip shape is. So right here, you'll notice that none of these lines are touching and it's because they are implied lines. You're learning so much art today. I'm gonna take this pen right in the middle. I take my lip shade, which is this nice deep red. So my normal lips. And I'm gonna smear it out with my hand. And I also have uh, my red shadow that I'm gonna deepen it with. And also I'm gonna take my red shadow that's like my contour. Place it right in the middle. Okay, there you are, okay. So I'm gonna take my white liner. I'm gonna do a heart right up here, up top. Add some dots. And a line connecting it. And now we're gonna add some lines. All right, the step after that is gonna be our blush. It's gonna be really, really, really simple. We're gonna take our blush brush that we had before. And I'm gonna take this like deep pink color that I have. I'm gonna press this into uh, the apple of my cheek. But since it's blending in with the backdrop, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of red shadow to it. Make sure it's concentrated, but it is blended out. I don't want two separate circles. I just want one circle on each side that is has concentrated red in the middle. And the final touch on the cheek is gonna be adding this white liquid liner and just gonna add little shines to your cheeks. Last step is gonna be one of the most important steps in this. If you don't know how to do this, you are like, you can watch my tutorial on how to glue stuff to your face but I will give you a quick crash course right here. If you want a more detailed one, go watch that video. So the first step to this is I'm gonna set my face. In order to glue stuff to your face, you're gonna be needing this, Prosade. It comes in cream, comes in like a milk form. You're gonna want the cream form. It's the easiest form to work with. It dries really quick, so you have to work pretty fast. So, if you can get it fucking open, if you can get it open, Take a, like the edge of a brush. You can also use like a Q-tip or something, but you can also get fibers from the Q-tip out of it. So I would suggest using the back of a brush. It'll clean off pretty easy later. Just take it and start dotting your face where you want to put your stuff. And I'm gonna wait for it to get tacky for just a couple seconds. The things I'm gonna place on my face. Perfect. And I'm gonna do that around my whole face and I will be right back with you. And there we go, you guys. I have all of my studs glued to my face. And what it does is like, I kind of brought it along that line that I made. So that's why the line wasn't really important if it was super, super messy or not. I, the final look is only gonna need lashes, hair, and the outfit. You know what? We're done. <laughs> so I will join you back in a second once I have my lenses, my lashes, my hair, and the full look is complete. I'll see you in just a second. Here we are, ooh, and that's the final look. So we have the hair, we have the contact lenses, the lashes, the earrings, and everything is on. And what do you guys think? I look really good. I definitely have, I'm like a vision in red. If that vision is red rum and you're gonna kill your family, I get it, you know, I understand. So yeah, I really hope you guys can try this look out on your own time. But if you do do these looks, please, 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 make sure to tag me, like at me, don't hashtag, at me and I will see it. I would love to see these makeup transformations on you. I would love to see you guys try this look and, and I would love to see the way that it looks on you guys. So please, 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 please tag me, try it out, try it out for yourself and yeah. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Before we end today, please make sure to like this video, comment down below, what was your favorite part? Um, what color makeup do you think I should do next? I've already conquered red. What do we have left, Cash? We green. Green and yellow. Don't make me do green. Do not vote for green. And thank you so much to all of our amazing, beautiful, wonderful patrons on Patreon. All of these people right here. Ooh, yes, thank you guys. You help make my channel possible. If you guys want to become a patron on Patreon, there's a link down in the description below. Um, becoming a patron helps me grow my channel, helps support my art, helps me just really up my game in drag. And there's so many perks to being a patron like our own personal Discord server, um, signatures from me, personal shout outs. So please make sure and look at the perks, find out which one works for you. And with that, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Michelle Obama. Yes, I am exercising. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ow! Oh, ow, I actually poked myself. That was supposed to be funny, but I actually poked myself in the thorn, son of a bitch. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. Oh, still going. Did they click another video yet?